Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Ask Brian Chow. Today, we're going to discuss about customer deposit. For certain industry, customer may need to pay up a sum of money before any work or job done. Example, furniture shop, contractor, or renovation. Let's check out how SQL accounting software handles this type of situation. Let's say we have a new customer called Alice. So we go to customer, maintain customer, new, create customer called Alice, save it. Alice pay deposit for 2,000 ringgit. So we go to customer, customer deposit, new, select Alice. Alice pay 2,000 ringgit. Then we receive in the May bank. She made the deposit by using FPX. So put in the FPX reference number, save it. There's nothing to knock off. So preview, you can print the receipt for this 2,000 ringgit. Later, you invoice Alice for 1,000 ringgit for the painting job. Go to sales, invoice, new, select customer as Alice. Item code select painting. One time is 1,000 ringgit. Save it. Then you can print the invoice for Alice. But because of the deposit, Alice do not need to pay extra money. You need to deduct from the deposit. So what you need to do is you go back to customer, customer payment, new, select Alice. And you can notice there is a deposit of 2,000 ringgit. Arrow down, select the deposit, but the pay amount is only 1,000 ringgit. Then click here to knock off for the invoice, save it. You do not require to give this official receipt to Alice because the official receipt is the 2,000 ringgit where you already give to Alice. For customer deposit, you always face a problem is to track the balance and also what happened to the deposit. What you need to do is go to customer, customer deposit, and you can see that for Alice deposit, original is 2,000 ringgit and the balance now is 1,000 ringgit. If you double click, you can see that the 1,000 ringgit that you use up is for this official receipt, double click, then this official receipt is for which invoice double click. So from deposit module, you can zoom all the way up to invoice. What if Alice requests for a refund? You just need to go to customer, customer deposit, then double click on the deposit and click the plus sign over here and select refund. How much you want to refund? Example, 1,000 ringgit and the reference number. Okay and the 1,000 ringgit will be refunded to her. So there's no more unapplied amount. There's no more balance. By using customer deposit module, you can use it as a customer payment to knock off invoice. You can do refund or even to do forfeit. And most important is to track the status and usage for the deposit amount. Thank you for watching. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.